Law Warrior Online. EXT-4D Exterminator Overview The Exterminator was designed from the ground up as a hunter-killer unit. The original General Systems design, which went into active duty in 2630, did not have an impressive weapons loadout, and its armour was only adequate for a mech of its weight class. What truly set the Exterminator apart was its cutting-edge stealth systems. Until the Comguard revealed itself in the 3030s, no Exterminators were known to have survived the First Succession War. Successor state armies trained specialised mech lancers to track down and annihilate these battlefield phantoms. Capabilities The Exterminator mounts an LRM-10, four medium lasers, a small laser, and an anti-missile system. Its true strength lay in its various stealth technologies. Even today, with so much recovered lost tech, the Exterminator is a marvel of technology, mounting a null signature system, phased array sensor system, stealthed directional communication beacon, and chameleon light polarization shield. The protected communication systems, the heat baffling capabilities of the null signature system, and light bending attributes of the polarization shield turn the Exterminator into a ghost on the battlefield. Deployment the centuries since the final exterminators were destroyed have hopelessly muddied the waters surrounding the details of this mech. While Comstar and the Word of Blake field small numbers, few of the hyper-advanced technologies remain. Considering these represented the pinnacle of electronic warfare development at the height of the Star League, such degradation is not unexpected. While the clans possess examples of the design, they have shown no inclination of using it and by accounts have stopped the research of stealth technology during the Golden Century, believing that the use of such advances was dishonourable. The Inner Sphere was able to maintain several examples of the technology on the Spectre-class battle mech, though production was out of the question. However, these technologies may not stay lost forever. In 3059, Dr. Gerhard Marx, NAIS Research Coordinator, presented his dissertation to the Interstellar Symposium on Military Technology and alluded to research on the Null Signature System. Work on the Chameleon Light Polarization Shield must surely follow. Variants Comstar debuted the EXT-5E Exterminator in 3060, a rather extensive refit of this ancient design. Stripping it down to the bone, the 5E was rebuilt utilising Endo Steel. The jump jets were dumped in favour of Mask, while the AMS and LRM-10 are exchanged for an improved NARC and C3 systems. The addition of several tons of extra armour helped shore up one of the major flaws of the original design. The EXT-5F appears to be a direct field refit of the 5E, trading out the four extended range medium lasers and INARC for twin light PPCs, an extended range small laser and a multi-missile 7 with two tons of ammunition, the 5E makes extensive use of the latest weaponry available. Calon Industries of Thermopolis recovered partial blueprints for the Exterminator in 2007, and did attempt to use it to replace their aging Wolverine. Calon replicated the overall design, though not the advanced technologies. Employing a 325 Vox standard fusion engine and single-strength heatsinks, the EXT-4A was mostly able to keep the original loadout, except the AMS which a machine gun would replace. The variant failed to live up to Callan's expectations, as many mech warriors found the Wolverine more effective. Construction was halted after a mere two production runs. Notable mech warriors. Andrei Kerensky. Despite his death centuries ago, Andrei Kerensky is arguably the most famous exterminator pilot of all time. Though little is known about the younger brother of Nicholas Kerensky, his blood connection to both General Alexander Kerensky, last commander of the SLDF, and Nicholas, founder of the clans, has ensured a cult following for the seldom understood man. A recently uncovered apocryphal writing from early in the clan's golden century called Andrei Nicholas's Conscience. The author is unknown, and the veracity of this document is unverifiable. In the end, all that's really known and remembered among the clans is that Andre died at the end of Operation Klondike, as the nascent clans conquered the Civil War-ridden Pentagon worlds. While spheroid cult members will tell you the clans had him murdered, we may never know. But his name, and the mech he piloted, will likely echo for ages to come. <laughs>